Hi there, my name is Don Boudreau. I'm a professor of economics at George Mason University and a senior fellow at George Mason's Mercatus Center. And I'm here today to talk about Adam Smith and his views on trade and the economy. So let's get started. Very good. This is the one genuine exception that Adam Smith carved out to a policy of free trade. The one genuine exception that's economic rather than non-economic or, 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 or political or, or national defense. Uh, today we call this the, the retaliatory tariff uh, exception. Global free trade is the best of all possible worlds where there are no tariff barriers whatsoever. It's not the world we live in. Governments are always imposing import restrictions of one sort or another. Ne nearly all governments. There are very few exceptions to that, to that rule. And so Adam Smith, as an intellectual matter, pointed out that, yes, of course it's possible. He recognized it's possible that the home government, by imposing a tariff on a foreign government that imposes tariffs, the home government tariff might pressure the foreign government into lowering its tariffs. Tariffs are always, uh, this is always one of the justifications trotted out uh, for tariffs. Donald Trump's tariffs have uh, been uh, uh, justified. People have attempted to justify Donald Trump's tariffs on, on this basis. Uh, in the case, of, in the case of, of real world policy, uh, not just President Trump's tariffs, but almost all other tariffs, uh, uh, it's just as with the national defense exception, it's just too easy. Oh, we're 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 not we're not protectionists. Perish the thought. We're free traders. In fact, we're more free traders than you. We want to make the world we want to make world trade even freer. That's why we're using tariffs. Uh, this is politically unrealistic, of course, because the tariffs that are imposed at home or take a look at them. They're nearly always uh, uh, imposed at the behest of politically well-organized domestic producer groups. These politically organized domestic producer groups are not interested in making the world freer, uh, world trade freer. They're interested in protecting themselves from, from competition. A couple of things to say in, in, in specific response uh, to that. First of all, history is not very kind to that thesis. Uh, it, history knows very few instances where a tariff imposed in one country uh, can be said to have caused another government, another foreign government, to lower its tariffs. The, the, the set isn't empty. There are a handful of instances in which that happens. Adam Smith mentions a couple in The Wealth of Nations, but they are very rare. If you look in history at uh, actual instances where global tariffs have fallen, what you find is Tariffs fall when there are uh, multilateral trade negotiations, most famously and most successfully with the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade starting in 1947 that became the WTO 25 years ago in 1995. Uh, a second thing uh, to say in, uh, in, on this matter as it relates to Adam Smith. So in, in his famous biography, intellectual biography of Adam Smith, Dugald Stewart, who, was a, uh, who knew Smith, he was a student of Smith, uh, a few years after Smith died, Dugald Stewart delivers a, a, a long uh, uh, um, paper on the life of Adam Smith. And in that uh, piece, by in that long paper by, by Stewart, uh, he says, I forget his exact words, but he says, yes, Adam Smith carved out this exception, what we call today the retaliatory tariff exception. But he really did so not because he thought it was a good policy to follow. He did so because he was a scholar and he wanted to recognize the, the full range of logical possibilities. And that is among a lot, that's one of the, the possibilities that is, is, is imaginable, that raising tariffs at home can cause tariffs abroad to fall. But it wasn't really something that Smith had much uh, 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 confidence in. And if you read The Wealth of Nations, as soon as Smith mentions this possibility, he immediately uh, uh, issues exceptions to it. He explains why it might not work, why it's likely to not work. He explains how, the, the even if it does work, the benefits 
would be captured by one group of people in the country with the cost being imposed on another group of people in the country, which is hardly equitable. Uh, and Smith, I have, I have it here because I knew this question was coming and I love this passage from Adam Smith. This is from book uh, four, chapter, chapter two. This is Smith, he says, there may be good policy in retaliations of this kind when there is a probability that they will procure the repeal of the high duties or prohibitions complained of. The recovery of a great foreign market will generally more than compensate the transitory inconveniency of paying dearer doing, during a short time uh, for some sorts of goods. To judge whether such retaliations are likely to produce such an effect does not perhaps belong so much to the science of a legislation, legislator whose deliberations ought to be governed by the general by general principles which are always the same as to the skill of that insidious and crafty animal vulgarly called a statesman or politicians or politician whose counsels are directed by the momentary fluctuations of affairs uh smith is saying uh look the, the people who will carry out any such policy don't think that they are these wise statesmen or stateswomen who sit back and judge the matter in a sober way and will use that power only when it has some genuine prospect of working he's saying no 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 uh it's the crafty uh <laughs> it's it, it's the crafty and vulgar animal uh, sitting in the legislature, who is interested only in short-term consequences. Uh, that who, is who will carry out this policy. So this was Smith's way of very cleverly warning against this policy of, of using retaliatory tariffs. So yes, in short, in principle, they can work. We have very little uh, 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 evidence from history that, that such tariffs do work. And Adam Smith himself was clearly no fan of using these uh, uh, Tar using tariffs in this way in practice.